It's one of the most popular social media apps, allowing users to share short video clips around the world. But Chinese-owned TikTok is now the center of controversy as trade tensions with the U.S. grow. Last night, President Trump suggested a ban was imminent. We're looking at TikTok. We may be banning TikTok. We may be doing some other things or a couple of options, but a lot of things are happening. The U.S. says TikTok poses a threat to national security over fears the app is sharing user data with the Chinese government. This has already led other countries like India to ban the app. TikTok has around 800 million active monthly users, with many based in the US. The parent company, ByteDance, is based in China, but denies any allegations it is sharing data with the Chinese government. Microsoft has been in talks about buying the video sharing app, but initial proposals were rejected by the White House. This isn't the first battle President Trump has had with China-based technology companies. He banned Huawei last year, and an executive order to ban TikTok could be next. However, there is doubt over how and when a ban could be imposed. Well, I've been speaking to Matt Navarra, a social media industry expert who has worked in digital communications for the British government. I began by asking him how President Trump could ban an app like TikTok. Uh, from a technical point of view, there are, there are a number of ways it could be done. I think um, a lot of the bigger experts in tech will tell you about what they call a network solution. So it's very much at the high end, top end of the spectrum of the mobile networks and working with the operators to limit the data that travels between TikTok servers, effectively blocking anyone from using the app in the country. Very similar to what China has done with its kind of limitations on the internet access there. But you could also ask Apple and Google to pull back the um, apps from the app stores to prevent anyone downloading it. But there's still ways around these. Well, what do we know about what data TikTok has access to? And is it any different to any other app? Well, this is the thing that uh, mystifies quite a lot of people. The, the fact that is that they're making these complaints against TikTok as an app and how it's harvesting data of its users. But if you actually look at what other people have done already to see what Facebook or Twitter or, or any of these social apps actually can gather on people's phones, it's not a lot different. It's the usual things around what um, operating system they're using, you know, possibly with the general location or you know, what other apps they've got on their phone. These are things that we know about already that other apps do. Doesn't mean it's right and that we're happy with it, but they're not dissimilar to what TikTok's doing. So if you ban one, the question is, why not ban the rest? Of course, Donald Trump picks fights with all sorts of people. You know, he might have fall out with Twitter tomorrow um, if, if Twitter keep censoring his, his tweets or, you know, potentially even banning him. Uh, based on what they've had to do with other users of Twitter. If he decided to turn that platform off, would it be the same thing? Would it be relatively straightforward? Well, the question mark isn't whether the, the technical um, capability of doing it, because I think any, um, if they wanted to do it, I'm sure they could find many ways to achieve it. It's more about you know, what that would signal that would send out to the rest of the world about censorship in, in the US, and limiting people's access to information by doing things like that. And also, if you do one out, then where does it, you know, what road is that taking the US down in terms of censoring and limiting people's access to the um, World Wide Web? So, yes, he could ban TikTok or say he's going to ban TikTok. And yes, he could say the same with Twitter but the process is much the same and, and the real battle is going to be more about a, a political one uh, as well as the legal one more than anything else. How has TikTok grown so quickly? How has it become such a success? Its growth really has been stemmed by a lot of money that's been pumped into the app to advertise it, even on rival apps and rival networks to drive in huge numbers of people. They've spent hundreds of millions and billions of pounds to, to get the, the numbers there. Uh, and then from there, of course, we've had this pandemic, a perfect time when people are at home wanting this kind of entertainment and using these sorts of apps. And they are really flavor of the month at the moment in terms of video, short form video. So I think all of these things have come together as a perfect storm and delivered a product that isn't from Facebook. And that's a really good point to make because people really don't want to be around Facebook right now at the moment. And so this is an opportunity to go somewhere else and, and have those sorts of experiences they enjoy.